टुडे वी शैल डिस्कस सम क्वेश्चंस व्हिच बेस्ड ऑन सिंपल इंटरेस्ट बट टुडे वी हैव सम क्वेश्चन व्हिच आर फ्यू कॉम्प्लिकेटेड other than we discussed in our last video and i hope that you get everything whatever i taught <coughs> so today let's see a question which is also based on simple interest a deposit of 50000 a deposit of 50000 result in an result in an amount in an amount of 1 lakh 2500 of 1 lakh 2500 then find after a period after a period of time after a period of time what is the interest what is the interest if the rate if the rate is 21% per year per year what is the period of deposit we have to find what is the period of deposit so is that this is the question and in this question there are two things has been asked the first is the interest and the second is time so let us see what does the question say a deposit of 50000 result in an amount of 1,2500 this is the question okay means that if i deposited in the bank 50000 i get an amount 1 lakh 2500 after a period of time what is the time we have no idea but it has been given that in a certain period of time our principal that is 50000 become in amount 1 lakh 2500 okay and what is the result interest so we have to find what is the interest means we have to find how much money we get as extra if the rate is 20% 21% then find the period of deposit which means that we have to find the time also so let us see how we do this so first of all we shall write here that the data given the principal is equal to 50000 amount is equal to 1 lakh 2500 and rate is equal to 21% per annum per year means per annum so we have to find the first is interest we have to find interest and time 
these two things we have to find. So let's find out them one by one. We know that amount is equal to principal plus interest. We know this formula A is equal to P plus I. So from here we can write I is equal to A minus P. So put the value 1 lakh 2500 minus 50,000. Okay? And now solve it. 0 minus 0, 0. 0 minus 0, 0. 5 minus 0, 5. 2 minus 0, 2. 10 minus 5, 5. So this is our interest. Our interest is 52,500 rupees. The interest is 52,500 rupees. And now we have to find the time. As we know that interest is equal to P multiplied by R multiplied by T upon 100. Okay. So we can put the values. The value of I is equal to 52,500. So we write 52,500 is equal to P. P is 50,000. So 50,000. The value of R is 21%. And T is unknown, so write T as it is and upon 100. 2 0, 2 0 cancel out. This 2 0 and this 2 0 cancel out. Now 5 1 are 5, 5 1 are 5, and 5 5 are 25. Okay? And here we get. 105 is equal to 2 multiplied 21 multiplied by t or t is equal to 105 upon 21 21 1 the 21 and 25 5 the 105 and hence here we get t is equal to 5 years so our result is t is equal to 5 years ok students I hope it is clear to everyone how we shall solve this. You can see. Let's see the solution once again. The question says that a deposit of 50,000 result in an amount of 1,2500 after a period of time. Okay. Here I deposited 50,000 in the bank and then return me 1,2500 rupees after some time. Okay. So here the question is how much money I get as an interest. The first question is how much money I get as an interest. This is the first question that we have to solve. And the second is if the rate is 21 per cent per year. Okay. If the rate is 21 per cent per year then what is the time for which I deposited the money in the bank. So here we have to find the interest money as well as the time for which I deposited the 50,000 in the bank. So first of all we write the data as given in the question here. And now the first is we have to find the interest. In order to find the interest we know a formula amount is equal to principal plus interest. So I write this A is equal to P plus I or we have to find interest Therefore, I is equal to A minus P. Since amount is greater than principal, therefore here we subtract principal from the amount and hence here we write 1 lakh 2500 minus 50,000 and hence here we get 52,500 rupees, which is the interest money. Okay, now our next step is to find the time. Since we know that the formula simple interest is equal to P multiplied by R multiplied by T upon 100. So we have right here P multiplied by R multiplied by T is equal to 100. Okay. Now here we have the interest 52,500. So we write 52,500 in the place of I like this. And the value of P is given that is 50,000. So here we write 50,000. 
multiply by 21, which is the rate and time on hand. This 2 0 cancel out this, and this 2 0 cancel out this. And 5 1 is 5, 5 1 is 5, 0, 5 5 is 25, and next here we solve as a result we get the time is equal to 5 years. Okay. I hope this question is clear to everyone. Now let us see the next question once again. Which is the better investment? We have to find which is the better investment. The first is five thousand six hundred rupees for. 8 years 8 years at 6% per annum at 6% per annum and second is 5000 for 10 years 10 years at 5% for hour. The question says that which is the better investment? Means that if I deposited rupees 600 rupees for 8 years at the rate of 6%, then what will my interest? And if I deposited 5000 for 10 years at the rate of 5%, then what will my interest? Okay. If we get the more interest in one of them, then that investment will be better. So let's find the first. As I is equal to T multiplied by R multiplied by T upon 100. So V is 5600 multiplied by R. R is 6 and multiply by t, t is 8 upon 100. 0 and 0 cancel. So here we get 6, 6 is 36, 6, 5 is 30, that is 33. Multiply by 8. And this will equal to 8, 6 is 48, 8, 3 is 20, 4, 20, 4 plus 4, 28. 8, 3, 24, 24 plus 2, 26. This is the interest money in the first case. Now the second, we know that SI is equal to PRT upon 100. So just put the value of it. Here we write SI is equal to 5000 multiplied by 10 and sorry, multiplied by 5 and multiplied by 10 upon 100. 2 0 and 2 0 cancel out. And here we get 5 5 is 25 that is 250 multiplied by 10 and this is equal to 2500. So here we can see that the interest money in the first case when we deposit. 5600 for 8 years at the rate of 6 percent we get 2688 rupees and in the second case when I deposited 5000 for 10 years at the rate of 5 percent we get the interest money is 2500 so here we can see that 2688 is greater than 2500 which means that in the first case, I get more interest 
in comparison to the second therefore the first investment will be better than the second investment okay student so i hope this is clear to everyone if you have any doubt then you can go to the comment section and mention your doubt i will clear your doubt in my next video till then goodbye